Hi, welcome back to Chem with Go. Today we're going to take a look at another organic reaction, which is condensation. Now, condensation and elimination, from a previous video, are very similar to each other uh, in the sense that they are the removal of the water molecule from organic structures. The difference between elimination and condensation, in elimination, we're removing the water molecule from one specific, um, uh, in this case it happened to be an alcohol for that example, to form an unsaturated hydrocarbon. For condensation, what we're doing is we're putting together two different molecules to form one molecule, one larger molecule at the end, which is really just a synthesis reaction. Uh, condensation reactions are usually are the reactions for putting together amino acids to put together proteins, uh, larger structures. Now, before we get into the uh, actual reaction, um, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, each one of these components, each one of our uh, reactants. Now note that this molecule over here is a carboxylic acid and this molecule over here is an alcohol. So let's come up with the name for both of them. Since this has two carbons right here, this will be ethanoic acid. All right. And this one right here has two carbons as well, and then has a hydroxyl functional group. So it's still with the prefix F, but then this is ethanol. All right, so what forms when we have an ethanoic acid and ethanol undergo a condensation reaction, which is the removal of water? So let me show you what atoms actually combine to form water. This hydrogen is lost by the ethanoic acid, and since it's an acid, it will uh, it is a proton donor, so it will lose this into the solution. This hydroxyl functional group right here on the ethanol will also leave, because what happens is this will attach to this, and both of them will leave eventually, which means that this oxygen right here and this carbon on the alcohol will combine together to form one large molecule, and this is what the molecule will look like. Got my car uh, bond group right here. So this is this, and then the two carbons right there. So this is my ester. Now the name of an ester, okay, always ends in O8 with an O and an A T E. Now let's uh, let me just box different components right here. This right here is from the ethanol, and that's what we name first. Actually, this is the ethyl part of the name. And with a different color, I'm going to go ahead and circle this part right here. And note that was from the ethanoic acid. So it still has that ethano, but then we put an A-T-E. So the name of the structure is called ethyl ethanoate, and that's the name of our ester. All right. Um, let's... Uh, I'll go ahead and try to do another example for you, uh, and hopefully with the two examples uh, of condensation reactions, uh, that should be enough to get you through the homework assignment and also um, started on the uh, chemical reactions that uh, you need to sort of write out for your experiment that's coming up real soon. All right, and I'll see you guys.